I know I took forever to edit this vlog, so let's just get started. This is me going to New York. The plane was super comfortable. I was very excited to get to New York for the first time in my life. But I was kind of freaking out because soon I realized that I didn't pack any heavy duty like jackets. I only had like a Levi's jacket and a very thin coat. So yeah, I kind of kind of figured out that I was going to freeze to death. I hadn't flown in so long that I had to record like every single moment of the departure. So um, here's some footage of just that. Me in the clouds. Sailing in the clouds. Okay, I'll stop. Also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am coming back with new content. I am gonna force myself into giving you guys stuff. Also, if we can just take a moment to appreciate how cool my nails look under this light, like, yes. We finally arrived and I started to freak out because the pilot said that it was 27 degrees outside and I was gonna freeze. Made sure I looked good, I checked myself, everything was fine. I was still worried about freezing to death, but okay, whatever. Then we just walk outside, I was like trying to find where the luggage was gonna be because this is JFK, it's a huge airport and I was like no sleep on the airplane because I forgot my headphones. Then I started making my way to my friend's Ricky's house. Well guys, I am settled in my room. This is my view. Nice crown heights. I'm tired. I'm gonna take a nap and then we're gonna go for breakfast. Hey guys, um, so this is editing me. Um, I basically just realized that I don't have enough footage. I basically filmed and then forgot to film and then filmed again and then forgot to film again. Um, and I just have a ton of photos that I'm gonna use to, um, kind of fill in all the things I didn't film, so, um, yeah, that's all, just, just FYI. So, this is my friend Ricky. She was super sweet to let me stay by her. We went to go get breakfast, and I had these pancakes that honestly tasted like fish. Don't even get me started. It was weird. Then we grabbed coffee. Everybody complimented my nails, and other people stared at them like it was weird, which I don't get because it was New York. Then I asked her to take my first photo in New York, and it was a mess. As you can see, it was a total disaster. Then my friend Agnes, which is right here, thank you Agnes, she was super kind enough to pick me up and take me on my first subway adventure. Not, not train or trolley, subway. Please don't call it train or trolley. I got very weird looks when I did. So off we went into our first subway adventure. Um, I then learned a lot of things, like for example... <laughs> From my non Spanish speaker, she basically said that she is a pro and she can balance herself, but I, I, I'm not, so I needed to hold on to something. And I was kind of freaking out, and that's why the camera is so shaky here. I was like feeling I was gonna fall. It was basically all good until the moment of truth came, and I realized I had messed up very hardly. I, I was wearing this, this very, very high heel boots, and um, I didn't get the memo that we only wear sneakers in the subway. I didn't know, so I mean, what are you gonna do? I, it was too late to go back now. The more I was in the subway, the more I realized that people just don't look at each other unless they're talking to each other and they know each other. Otherwise, people really don't smile. They look like they're having the worst day in their lives. Even though the weather was very nice. It was like 55 degrees, I think. It was it was a great weather. But I mean, why do I know? I'm just a Californian in New York, right? Oh, hi. We finally got off the station and I need to go do some paperwork and Agnes was so sweet enough to walk me to the office where I needed to go. She showed me around and thank god she came with me because if she wouldn't have, I would have been so lost. Then I made her film me as if I didn't know that she was filming me. <laughs> then Agnes took my first photo of me in Manhattan, which was also not Instagram worthy, but you know, we're here, we're doing this. And I had to say goodbye to her. <laughs> I miss you, Agnes, don't go. After finishing up all the paperwork I needed to do, I ventured myself back into my first subway train ride by myself. I made sure to take some footage of me, just in case this was the last thing you would see of me, if I got lost. The rest of the day I just managed to get back to the neighborhood I was staying in. I went to this nice little flower shop with Ricky and I went back to my room and I just, just rested. Then, Saturday night, me and Ricky went to get pizza, because that's the whole reason I actually came to New York for. And even though I was surprised that she took me to such a fancy place, it was super amazing. The food was delicious. We had this little mint drink that was so, so, so good. Then Ricky got tired of me and asked me to stop recording and taking photos while we were eating because it was weird, so I kind of just stopped. Now it's Sunday. 
At 10 a.m. I took a bus to the Ohel, which is another story. It's a Jewish cemetery, so I'll just skip to another part. Hey guys, so what's up? I did get lost like two times already. Um, I find Agnes, so we'll see if I can find her. My phone is also in um, yellow bars. Let's just add to the adventure. Whatever, it's fine. We're chilling. So let's hope that we can come alive to Agnes. In this moment, I realized I was not going to find where I was supposed to go by myself. So I kind of just called Agnes and prayed that she would show up and kind of save me because I was just... That was it. I was lost. Agnes finally showed up. She was very disappointed on me. She couldn't believe that I got lost. But what are friends for? Okay, guys. So I got lost. But Agnes came to rescue me. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I like I, I did like four circles around the same station and I kept going back like down and up up and down and it was just horrible like I could see the security guy just looking at me like when is she gonna ask for help you know and I was like no I have too much pride so guys lesson of the story just don't be like me and ask for help if you need it please a check of Agnes, like I'm not in her level right now, I'm basic as hell because I didn't know what to wear, I was scared. I did bring like a cool sweater and I didn't put it on because I'm like, I cannot pull it's it not off. Bolted. But seriously, look at her, she's like such an icon. After getting the Agnes approval on my rain boots that were not as tall as my pink shoes, we went on onto another train subway ride and we went off into Manhattan, the land of Gossip Girl. Not gonna lie, I wish we had more time. This trip was so short, it was only four days and it didn't give me time to find Mia Chuck Bass. Now he's a shot of my feet and some other dude's feet that were just too close for my liking. We finally got off the station and oh my gosh, there were so many people. Then I made Agnes take more photos of me and she took a video instead of a photo because she was so scared that we were in the middle of the street. But you know, whatever, anything for the gram. I, I didn't need to get that photo even though, I don't know, not liking it, not loving it, moving on. And we got to Manhattan. Lady, I am not filming you. I'm not trying to get to you, okay? All I care is the buildings. As we kept walking, we were actually on our way to find a pizza shop. And I almost threw Agnes into the fountain. She did not like that. We found where they filmed t tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, which I thought it was pretty cool. And we just kept walking. Honestly, I kind of feel bad that I didn't film more. I was just kind of overwhelmed by everything that I just shot this, like, very, like, boring things. I, w I wish I would have filmed everything, guys, but... Sorry, I didn't. We also saw some TikTokers in their natural habitat, which Agnes thought it was hilarious, but inside she also wants to be a TikToker, so don't lie, Agnes. I'm still looking for rats. I haven't seen any rats so far. I have a rat. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> After walking a lot and I getting lost again and sending us to the wrong place, we finally found the pizza shop and it was just amazing. I'm sorry guys for the poor quality in the video. As you remember, my phone wasn't 50% and I was using Agnes phone and I have no idea why this happened, but let's just keep going. Seven skyscrapers out of ten. It was good, but like, I don't know, maybe it's the ones I show How many steps? I what? How many steps? To get here? Yeah. You don't want to know. Like 7,000 or anything? I'm sorry. We actually walked to the wrong, we walked to the wrong place first, and then I didn't see that it was closer, so we have to like walk back and go to another one. After that, it was time to go home. We were both pretty tired. So we just went on the train. Weird thing, after this is when things got got messy. Long story short, I ended up in Queens because I took a bus instead of a train. And I got off on the wrong station. It took forever for me to get home. And it was just it was just messy. But I, I made it alive. I, I, I made it home. But kids do not trust GPS. This was the moment Agnes and I said goodbye and part our separate ways. And as she went off to another place, I stayed in that line and got off there and that's when the whole thing happened. I got lost. But seriously guys, shout out to Agnes. We are really nothing without our friends. She helped me so much. She's actually my friend from San Diego from back home. And um, if you guys want to follow her and, you know, see her life, please do. Then I went to meet Meryl at her apartment so that we could go get some ice cream. And she kind of laughed at the mix that I did. But dude, I was trying to get all the flavors at once, okay? Thank you. Next day was Monday, me and Ricky went to get some coffee and just a very chill day because I was flying out at 4 p.m. that day. The place we went to was super cute, it was super... Uh, I don't... Why is my camera so dirty? I don't know. Anyways, it was an amazing place, loved the food there, but yeah, it was very hipsterish. 
After that, Ricky took me to this place that is called Prospect Park. And she told me that it was even almost a Central Park, even better, maybe. Honestly, it was amazing. The weather was great. There was no drop of rain or anything. We saw dogs, we saw pigeons, and I swear these pigeons are the freaking owners of the city. Like, they, they, they manage things around, they're scary as hell. And the weather was just great. The park was super pretty, it was super chill, so we just didn't enjoy the sun. After that, I went to 770, which is the headquarters of Chabad, as a Jewish girl that I am. I went inside, which was amazing, a whole other experience. I went to a Hudaika store to buy some stuff. And just like that, I was already in the airport saying goodbye to New York. Okay, my voice is not great right now, so I'll just stop. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All this was filmed way before the COVID virus happened. And I am hoping everyone's staying safe, everyone's staying home if you're able to. I know some people have to go to work and we gotta get that money. I understand. But if you're able to stay home, just stay home as much as possible. I love you guys. I will see you guys very soon. I am coming back. I promise. I promise. Especially right now. I know you guys probably are binge watching already like every single thing on Netflix. So I'm gonna edit a bunch of things that haven't edited in a while. Anyways, bye guys.